after I got out of military police school, I went. I was stationed at Fort Hood for two and a half years. The day that the news broke about that, I just sat there, just dumbfounded, just just stunned by it all. I'm wondering how they let a lot of things slip by that they knew about this gentleman, and. We were talking about this last night, and I said, it just sounds like the uh, same thing back on December 8, 1941, when people knew about things that the Japanese were doing, and did, they, did we know that they were going to attack us? And you just, you just wonder. I think what we do need to think about is the families that are left behind, and obviously the injured folks who are still trying to struggle through this, the folks that have had um, the mental um, difficulty of dealing with what happened down there. I think we just need to concentrate on that and the goodness that they do and all the good things that happen with people do mil um, serve in the military and leave what happened to the person, what happens to the person who did this act in the hands of the military and let that, let that go by. Those who have been trained to protect us did exactly what they were supposed to do, exactly when they were supposed to and what could have been much more horrendous than it was, was quickly brought to an end. And I'm very proud of those people who stood up and took care of the situation.